All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here on Nelly. Welcome back to some more Grand Fantasia. Been buying and selling. Mostly selling. <laughs> so, um, I recently just. Just, uh, well, shit. I guess I shouldn't, like, go into these any further. I'm not sure. I might just say screw the, um,. Hold on. Where was I going? Oh yeah, I wanted to test my my stuff on Phoenix Tower. Highlands all the way up there. Oh, apparently. Gotta go talk to you first. But, uh, what was I about to say? I've been buying and selling. Probably won't go into these anymore. I might just say screw the Sprite message. Sprite, sprite messenger. It really depends on how long it's going to take to level. And I don't think I need it. I did equip my uh, gun weapon. We're going to see how well that goes. We're going to see. I don't think it's going to go extremely well, but we'll see. I just want you to know, half of Grand Fantasia right now is goat farming. <laughs> That's really the thing that's going to halt your progress the most, is farming gold. And here's the thing. Even if they increase gold for quests, that's just going to increase the economy of the game even more, too. So this is in kind of a weird position to where... Gold just rules the game at the moment. Unless they can start dropping, you know, some of these items inside of dungeons. That's the only way to slightly fix the economy on half of this stuff. Is making half of these things like just dungeon material that drops from them. Like, uh, fortification stones. Those should drop from dungeons. At least mutated dungeons, you know? But they don't. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> the economy is always just going to be terrible in that sense. So I'm going to be tr also trying out um, firearms. Because we, we haven't used firearms yet. We've only been using the bow. I just want to see how how they hit. Do they do a lot of damage versus my bow? Also, the nice thing is when you trade out a weapon, it automatically changes out the ammo, too. So it just spit that back out. Go back on the gun. I like that change. The only sad part is I'm pretty sure if I change this, I don't think it automatically switches my weapon. I think I have to. Hold on. Damn, I was trying to see what this gives. Move speed, attack. Okay. But I think if you change the bow, I don't think it actually adds anything else on. Can you not? Very impolite of you. I'm just trying to get here and save. Let me buy my Phoenix Tower. I just want to test this and see how it goes. Oh, God damn it! Click that instead. With quite a bit of gold. Because the Phoenix Tower reward and proof of tower destruction. Huh. I don't think I've ever read that, but you know, change bow. Yeah, you would have to then change to a bow. Oh yeah, I did rank up these skills, so I have to replace those. It's a good thing I saw that now. Hmm. 
I said I just sold those uh that collection of what what is it reputation that we got from wait where's where's that skill am I blind where the hell is armor cutter oh there it is but I recently just sold that pal of reputation we got from sunken fortress. So I'll, I'll probably have a little bit of gold soon. Now the gear's been selling pretty decently well. This is still on for seven hours. Damn, they are fast. Oh, they are extremely fast. Okay, that didn't pack a punch as much as I thought it would. It's kind of funny. I will say this, uh, Phoenix Tower is very, very armor heavy. Because uh, these guys actually strip you of armor. So I'm going to change to bow for this. They also crit a lot too. So that's also another thing. I think bow is just better for DPS right now. I'll say we'll see. But then again, I should have let the tiger go first. Uh, we can also change the strategist right now. Since I don't think any of the bosses in here have reflect damage. Just let myself heal up a little bit. I am running out of mana potions. I should use this as well. Huh. Like I said, we probably will end up skipping Phoenix Tower. Depending on if I can get past this part, because the boss for this is even more defense hungry. Okay, so... We're going to send him first. Yeah, bow is just so much better for me. <laughs> Mostly because it had an extra evasion, if anything. Oh, there's four of them? Jesus Christ, he's gonna get melted. Plus, I can run away and do this at the same time, too. Yeah, I don't expect to do the same thing I'm doing just because I have the, the little lifesteal dish that they gave us. And it barely even gives anything, to be honest. Now 
Now, when it comes to this boss, I'm not I'm not going to be able to complete it for sure. Just because if those guys are hitting that hard, the boss is going to be even <laughs> hitting more harder. And if I can't outrun these guys, there's no way I'm going to be able to. Also, uh, I'm not getting my buff for this hour either. I think I have to be a certain level, like, I think I have to be level 78 to get my buff for this tower. No, not 78, 71. Yeah, I cannot route rub these mobs without that buff. But yeah, armor is a huge, huge factor in this. A little bit of patient too. Oh shit, I didn't even put this back on. Even though it won't help too much of anything. This gives me 1% damage. Ah, wait. Ah, so then auction sold. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, something else an auction sold? Okay. Nice. Won't be able to see what it is for a while. Oh, there's four of them. Oh, that's going to be such a nuisance. Oh, why did it change targets? Uh, why aren't you dead also? Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. Whoops, I somehow changed this for... Somehow. Uh, where is it? Lock that. Okay, good. What's the chance of that activating? 12%? This is what it feels like to be missing that 10% of that sword for movement speed. <laughs> what I was about to say, is he not going to come after me? 
Man, this is why Cage would be so amazing right now. But I don't think Cage exists in the game anymore. I don't think the Runestone Cage actually exists in Grand Theft Auto anymore. I've I have not seen it since Area Games owning the game. I say, damn, did they insta kill? Wait, why are you all chasing me? Oh. Yeah, they end up chasing my panther. That's actually good. Because it keeps one off me as as my tiger chasing it. Well, panther. Do your job, bagel. All right, good job, Bagel. You did a fantastic job. Gosh, I wish enhanced stones were accessible for this. Yep, here we go, the boss. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. How would I go about this? Because Getting aggro a Nim and not the boss too is next to impossible. He has a stun, multi hit. Yep, and here's what I was talking about: the defense burn lowers my physical defense, so he'll be able to one shot me basically. Then there's to lower my evasion as well. So he has. Two skills that lower my evasion. And it doesn't matter if an if an attack miss, you still have a chance of getting that that stun proc. So you can still get stunned no matter what. That's just something to note when it comes to like Grand Potasia. That they are not uh not very forgiving. I'm trying to move. Oh my god, I'm clicking the fucking taskbar. <laughs> okay, I teleported to Ancient Stone. I just want to be known that you don't have to do dungeons. There's actually a lot of quests you don't have to do. I uh, say so you don't even have to do the outside quest. You can you can dungeon only all the way up to level 100. It's a little slower from what I've seen that they've changed from like questing now. Compared to how it used to be. Dungeons are mostly for gold. For making gold. But now you can make equal that amount of gold just doing the quest, to be honest. That's doing multiple quests. <laughs> when I say, um... Most dungeons are used for gold because you can just... Once you're, like, high enough level, you can just go and run straight to the boss and as you're running straight to the bosses and just killing them as soon as you're done killing every last boss that's required on those uh mission orders you just step right out and turn it in then just recollect it you can only do that up to 10 times
Um, oh yeah, I didn't do this quest. Oh yeah, that's Chaos Realm. I don't believe I need this. A lot of things counter evasion. I just want that to also be known too. Any sort of stun counters evasion. And I'm going to tell you this, half of in game is all stunts. <laughs> Unfortunately, half of in-game is in-game is just all stunts. And if you are, uh, let's see, which one is it? That's not it. This it. I remember what that quest is. Oh yeah, that, that's what I was trying to see. Okay, I can collect these. So I got four gold plus four. Hell yeah, well, it's technically plus five, right? Plus five gold. That's nice. Slow but steady. Ah, uh, so I just turned in that reincarnation quest, which is from this. Oh, the sprite. Yeah. If you wanted to reincarnate, you would do this. That is the reincarnation quest. Well, not that. Where is it? This. I'll show you guys, like, the starting of the reincarnation quest. I'm not going to go, like, into it because there are certain benefits that come to like reincarnating at level 100 you get a way better title um i guess i can try and show those titles right now hold on ran fantasia reincarnation there's a lot of information to reincarnation it's a very complicated system for no reason honestly But you have to choose one of these quests. Which one's ever the easiest to you. Do not do this one. Because this fucker has reflect damage. This is probably the hardest one out of this. So honestly, collecting this would probably be more beneficial to you than anything <laughs> out of this whole quest. Hell, even just collecting these would be beneficial to you. The middle one is the easiest quest out of all of this. This is something you need. I have 14 of those. I can easily go and grab all of these and just fill out that quest because you need the item inside that quest to reincarnate. As, as of right now, I don't feel like reincarnating. But if they have some... Uh, Nah, there's nothing in there right now. Okay, but... Yeah. <laughs> if you ever run it, reincarnate, this is the start of it. Then you grab that. Then you come all... You come all the way over here. I think one of these characters have... Yeah, it's you. You need exactly... Wait, is it this? I think it is that. No, it's not that. Something else. What the hell are it? Oh, here it is. This. You need to exchange that fragment for here, and you need 3,000 gold. I'm going to tell you this. You're going to need way more than 3,000 gold. And once you have that, that stone, that little, uh, yeah, this, once you have the fragment, you would come here, exchange it for that, then you would accept this quest. Then only when you have 
that for the 3,000 gold. Then you should just enter the realm from there. I think the realm is from you, right? Yeah, you would enter. Or am I tweaking? I think I'm tweaking. <laughs> well, it'll tell you where to go. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. That is how you start your reincarnation. You can start it at level 66. As soon as you're done with your class change. Your... Hold on. Once you're done with your third class change. You're ready to reincarnate. I recommend doing it at level 100. Because I'm going to show you guys the stat differences. So, let's say for an example, we're going to use, huh, what's a good example? I don't think I've touched this weapon, so I think that one should be stat clear. Okay, yeah, this one's stat clear. As you can see, this has 4,608 attack. There's no bonuses or anything added on to it. This is just a normal sword. Put it back in Archive. Now we're going to go to a character that I awakened early. Which is my key master. Just because I found it like very difficult to progress. And I wanted to see what I would get. That was, that was my very first character reincarnating. Now he is a mule. Because uh, too many items in this game. And there is no share box. No share bank or anything. I wish there was a share bank that wasn't freaking paid for. Because I know the developers of Grand Fantasia would definitely try and make money out of it. But, uh, yeah, let's go in here. Archive. Uh, grab the sword. As you can see, there's extra stats added onto it. There's, a, there's an extra 368 stats added onto it. There's an extra bonus for reincarnating at the starting. So, um, plus 9 strength, plus 6 dexterity, or vitality, um, plus 5 agility, and plus 2 intelligence. Come up here, and it tells you your rating and how many times you reincarnated. Now we're going to go to my druid, which I reincarnated from level 100 because I didn't have too much of an issue to get to level 100 as a druid. <laughs> or as a sage. It just took a little bit of more planning and druid has a lot of good things to counter in the game. I mean, once you hit wolf form and find like really good hammers, uh, to duel with the hammers, you're basically golden through most of the game because wolf form will just dps anything down but now we also have the new changes the rework for it and now bird is the best form for like clearing groups of mobs if you can actually like kite so now we're gonna go to the sword then it's gonna show you even more extra stats And now from a level 100 rated uh, reincarnation, you have 900 and I don't know if the skills would level, actually. It probably could scale with level. If anybody has any extra details on it scaling with level, let me know. But I don't think it scales with level. Actually, do rates even matter? Oh yeah, yes it does because it gives 5% reincarnation rate. Never mind. Yes, it does. <laughs> so reincarnating at level 100 adds on extra stats. So it would be 921 stats added on. Plus 23, plus 15, plus 13, plus 6 onto the sword. Just because I reincarnated at level 100. So if you ever wanted a clean, smooth adventure the second time. And a lot better chance of actually, you know destroying half of the game on certain characters not all of them then speed running to level 100 is definitely the way to go 
That's if you can make it. Good luck. I should also put these in here since I'm not on my druid for a while. Because I have been trying to like level up my necromancer. So yeah. Oh, I thought about going to my necromancer. I'm not sure yet. Just having uh just having this ability right here. This just having this is great for the extra stats. Collector is definitely the better uh better stat out of this. Cause if you can get it all the way down here, your characters will start off beefy and destroy so many things early. Honestly, I'm pretty sure this can just carry you through the entire game for a while. It's just because those extra stats are insane. But good luck getting to 10,000. Honestly. Unless you're like a big, like, crafter. Because mostly all the points that are going to count towards, like, this is going to be crafting. Because you have 7 points. You have 7 points. 9 points. Like, it just goes on. But the things that matter the most are the things that are up here. Well, in certain areas. Wait, where, where was it? Yeah, here it is. These events. When you're doing events, it gives you 10 extra points to put inside of your archive. So if you ever thought, eh, what would be the point of doing events is for these. For these. All of these events right here. That's why you would do them. It's for getting archive ability up. Either that or craft, like I said, craft every last yellow weapon in the game you could find. Then after every last yellow weapon, suffer with every last purple weapon in the game. Then after the purple weapons, truly suffer with all the red weapons in the game. Or you can get somebody else to make all those for you. Whichever one comes first. Anywho... Um, that's it for that little talk. Um, now we're going to go and get into uh, what we're supposed to do. I just wanted to talk a little bit about reincarnation and show you guys the benefits of reincarnating at level 100 other than, you know, anything lower. And why we're going to level 100 before we reincarnate. <sighs> Because if you reincarnate early, you suffer. Because you cannot go back and change those stats. You cannot reincarnate again because there is no new reincarnation in the game. Uh, what's this? I don't have that stuff yet. Not yet, though. But I'll be there sooner or later. But we can go to Eternal Mountain. Negative 12. Negative 12 gold, man. Feels bad. Uh, is there anything here I want to pick up? Probably not, to be honest. Can you sell this book? Is it tradable? It seems like it's tradable. I wonder if I could send this to my druid, because my druid is further along inside of this. All right, I can send that to my druid. That'd be great. Oh, I can. Send that to her. That'll be a, she'll get more of a use out of it than me. But anywho. We continue on. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to these guys first. You also get like a I don't know if I talked about it, but you also get like a combat mount. You get like a 
it's sort of like a leveling stone to where you will sit stationary and gain XP over time. But I would recommend using that for like late game. Don't use it for early. Because it's easy to level early game. It's a lot more difficult to level up late game. Use it once you feel like you're out of quests. Or I would say use it once you're like level 80, level 90. It's more recommended to use it at like level 90. Because it stores up all the XP that I believe you gained. Or at least a portion of the XP you've gained. That you can use. Um, it should be in my archive because you can archive it. It doesn't have any more XP on it, I'm pretty sure, but it's only used on reincarnation anyway. Yeah, it's somewhat like this. I guess I could technically show it. If this guy would stop following me. Yeah, it's an item that just puts you inside of, like, this state. But there's, like, a little orb around you, and there's XP popping up above your head. This item, once you get that, I wouldn't recommend using it, to, using it into, like, late game. Really would not. Oh boy, man, it's gonna be a lot of questing to go in through now, but eh, considering we're probably gonna be skipping Phoenix Tower for a while, we'll probably come back to that later at another date. Well, that, now that I think about it, as long as I have the quest, it doesn't disappear, right? I don't think it disappears. I think I get to keep it as long as I already activated it. So I think coming back to it, I I think I can come back to it later. Should I repeat? Yeah, that's a repeat. Oh, there's going to be a lot of quests here. Jeez. Okay, I was curious what that quest gave. Oh, darn, I pushed the wrong thing. This. I guess we will go down the line through all the quests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. There's only one quest that's not a storyline. I just want that to be known. <laughs> There's literally only one quest that's not a, like, chain quest. Oh, damn. Elizabeth's all the way up here. Okay, what else did I want to talk about? Since we're not ready for uh, Phoenix Tower yet, I already did like a little bit of a little bit of a test run for that. It did not go well, <laughs> mostly because our gear is that dungeon is very, very, very physical, defense heavy. I'm not even exaggerating, too. It is very, very defense heavy. You guys are just going to keep spamming that, huh? Guys, can we calm down on a, on a house, please? I would Awu with you, but I'm I'm just too lazy. I don't have it in me. Oh, 
Uh, okay. Jesus Christ, Elizabeth. Where are you? In freaking Narnia? Jesus. Dear God, actual Narnia. Either that or the pathing is stupid. It's either that or the pathing got stupid. I swear to God, if the pathing takes me anywhere up here and the pathing just got really stupid and went all the way around, I will strangle somebody. Oh my God, I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Dude, the pathing. Oh, it's a. No. Uh, the pathing in this game is shit. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You're actually fucking kidding me, right? No, you're not fucking kidding me. Oh my god. I'm going to choke someone. I'm actually going to choke someone. I'm actually gonna fucking choke someone. Are you f This is why we use TP stones. This reason right here. This is why we save, collect, and buy a whole bunch of TP stones. That, that bullshit right there is exactly why we do it. I fucking hate you, Elizabeth. So just so you know, the pathing in this game is shit. <laughs> uh, for fuck's sakes. So just so it's known, uh, this place also has damage reduction potions as well, if you need them. Uh, they are actually pretty decent if you just need that extra uh defense and also like i said any place that has like fame or reputation this is where you would normally invest all your points into trying to get like if i was to yeah excuse me if i was to try and get all this whole thing fully maxed out this is what I would come to. This is what I would come to to get. But these are for... Aren't they for the reincarnated table? Or am I crazy? Yeah, that's for the reincarnated table. Why does it say reincarnate? Oh, yeah. This is also where some of your more popular... Talents are going to be locked behind, too. <laughs> Just want that to be known, also. So if you're ever looking for a talent, look look at reputation. Also, good luck maxing that reputation, also. That's also a thing, as well. It's Reputation is not fun. <laughs> More quests just showed up just because that quest got done. Repeat. Let me guess this is a repeat too. Yep. Nope. This isn't a repeat. The rest of them are repeats. I guess we should check to see what what those repeats give. Goad. Goad. Unless it gives an item I normally don't do repeats. Like item that's actually really good. Okay, so now they're giving level seven uh, material boxes. Hell, we, hell yeah, I totally wanted those. No, I'm gonna stop. I, I'm I'm not gonna be ungrateful. Pre appreciate the box of randomness that potentially has a chance of me crafting something out of it.
Keep your filthy hands off me. You darn dirty ape. Okay, you guys give nothing that I need. Oh, but you do give a firearm sprite. But it's nothing I need. <laughs> no, let me use my... My firearm here. Just to see... Where we coming from here. Damn. Oh, it doesn't tell me how long that goes on cooldown. That's actually that's actually annoying that that doesn't tell me. Yeah, okay, gun could be useful. Like I said, rifles, it feels like it's more of a setting of... Setting of a team-based situation. Ah, oh, nice. I got a scroll I can sell. For probably like... What is it? 200? Probably like 300? Nah, yeah, 300. Remember those pell stones I was talking about? This. This. It's only useless if you don't plan on doing formulas basic like blueprints from other NPCs which most of the time end up being useless I just felt like getting payback for some reason I don't know I don't know why I decided decided it but you know what I decided it by the gods I did You also gotta remember that this is actually a lot slower too. Unless I was to like spam it maybe. Oh no, the gun buff went off. Uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe I do have to just keep tapping it for it to actually be good. Uh -huh. Not only that, it's a pretty decent chance at a multi-hit. Despacito, uh... Well, Desperado. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Just because it has a four-minute... No, not four minute. Four second charge time. But you would really have to test this on like a very tanky enemy. To know the true worth of it though. That's what I'm thinking.
Oh, this just changed. Okay, so I have a skill that transforms after a certain amount of uses. Okay, so it's an auto cast of it's an auto cast of DSPC. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Desperado. It's an auto cast of it, which is nice. Oh yeah, I'm looking for Max. Duh. I'm just killing anything at this point. <laughs> Good damage, but I something tells me that I'm not gonna enjoy myself being overran <laughs> by enemies. Cause I I for some reason I feel like this has a less generous range but then again well when i say less generous range i'm talking about if they're like too close but then again those enemies were about my base movement speed i want to get to what are these robots oh what's up here i want to get to level 71 and see if tower will give me that that stat buff again the blessing from the goddess Guess I can get the butcher while I'm out of here. I'm here. Huh? Yeah. I say we can have a gun battle, brother. I don't mind. <laughs> ah, it's another freaking stone. Robber, robber. Apparently there's one down here. Butcher. There we go. Oh, this quest. We're doing this one. I thought we were doing the one at the top. Now we're doing the one at the bottom. So I forgot we're going in order. From bottom to top. But you know what? Two birds with one stone. Here's unidentified fucking seeds again. That's also another benefit, is that you can use improved potions at their finest. They give you a thousand more healing if you're reincarnated. I don't even think I have reincarnated, like, legacy gear. Mostly all my reincarnated legacy gear is from my druid. And most of the time I didn't even well, I didn't even get to use any of this gear actually. So did I get all my gear for I got all my gear for the either the Reaper no, it was for the No, 
I did get some gear for Reaper. Okay, no. No, I did not. It was for the key. Key Master. I'm thinking about starting a new Key Master, to be honest. Just so I could fully reincarnate it. And just keep that tr other one as a mule. Let's turn in this one, too. Why not? Ronald. Who the... There you go, lady. Now, who is Ronald? Ronald is in Plague Forest. Up oh, here, here come the here come the bosses. I must say, Plague Forest should be over here. I don't think Plague Forest has like a teleporter there, does it? Like forces in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Think about saving up my gold and buying a uh, transport stones if they are if there are any transport stones are normally very very cheap oh there was a quest here the hell where did that quest come from Oh, it's a quest for um, Night Valley. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing Night Valley first. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't even realize... That's actually hilarious. Darn it. Uh, oops, not. Oh, I can't abandon the character quest. I forgot about that. Can't abandon that, though. Can also abandon this. I forgot how many quests you can carry. Was it like 20? I don't know. I don't know how I see numbers, apparently. I don't know. I guess I kind of saw like it was this was like closer and took up more to where I thought this was the next area. Because it looks like it just goes straight into this area. It doesn't look like it goes straight into that area. But then again, I guess I misread the numbers. My bad, guys. Uh, I almost gave you guys uh, the wrong thing. 
Plus, a lot more quests are supposed to open up in that area if I uh, do this, I guess, to be honest. Yeah, that's... It's definitely how that's supposed to work. Because I'm supposed to lead from here into that. My whole series is going to back and forth. <sighs> if only I would have known, or known like earlier. <laughs> if I would have paid attention to stuff too, you know. Apparently, I don't believe in paying attention to quests. Okay, let's do this right. Sorry, this video is going to start off confusing. Oh, they're all green, too. That sucks. I didn't expect all these quests to end up green. Probably because I kind of overleveled. It still gave me a a bar of XP. That's a crazy thing. The green quest is still giving me like a bar of XP. Is kind of absurd to be honest. That's a repeat quest. Okay, so level sixty six. Anything lower than level sixty six or is low. Okay, so I think I can grab two more quests here, but they're not ring repeatables. Yeah, anything above level 66. Reincarnation. Oh, reincarnation shop. Uh, I don't know why my brain was just like, wait a minute, why is that here? <laughs> okay. Now let's do this right. We're going to start from the level uh, 65s. <laughs> Yeah, bow just feels a lot faster at killing. God damn it. Oh, we need those sheep anyway. Okay. Like I said, it has moves that are up close, too, so I don't have to worry about being ran down. So that's why bow is just better for soloing, and I feel like... I was about to say, are you going to grab this? I feel like gun is just way better for, like, team-based things. And like I said, dude, if you're going to play this game, have a partner in crime. It becomes a lot easier. If you guys are like following your gear and keeping keep yourself up to date, I'm going to tell you you're going to have a fun time with your duo. It's a lot easier with a duo. Yeah, making sure those didn't drop anything. Oh no, the wolves do drop stuff that I need. But if you're going to do the solo experience, make sure to choose a character that can 
that fits your play style. And you feel like you can solo with. Ranger really doesn't fit my playstyle. It's more of just intriguing me of what they have available to them. Druid has always been my playstyle. I do want to try Keymaster again. Because maybe it could fit my playstyle. A little bit more because I haven't really gone through it a lot. I don't think this game would be as tedious in farming if the sprite was a lot better at collecting items. But that's my pet peeve with like going into dungeons and farming. And that really just throws me off from wanting to grind. Is my sprite not collecting everything. I say sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I'm ready to go inside of a dungeon and just start farming and getting getting some gold. Then it's just like, damn, I have to pick up everything myself. <laughs> and my sprite is mostly like very slow. There's no way to increase your sprite's movement speed either. To where they become a pickup machine or anything. You're kind of just stuck with whatever speed they have unless... They have wings. And I'm pretty sure these sprites are better at picking stuff up, right? Nah, that still kind of feels very slow because they also have to walk all the way back. Wait, where's where's Zelda Ram? I need one more swirly ram. Did he drop it? Not yeah, he dropped it. But most players understand what I'm like talking about when it comes to like farming. Not every player will understand what I'm like talking about. But it's also, I, well, I also started looking at the downs, the other sides of like, why is it set up that way? I'm guessing it's set up that way for um, dungeons. For whoever sprites gets the item faster. Which, at another point when I actually think about it that way, it makes no sense considering everybody will still have the roll on that item either way unless you're playing um 
Was it free for all? No, no, man. Just the game set up pretty weirdly, but it's just something that you get used to over time. Especially since you also got to remember, Grand Potato is really old. It's it's really old. The, this system was like, you know, more tolerated back then because there's more MMOs back then that uh. Had way worse systems. And there weren't a lot of MMOs that were like very popular, popped off like that. So now with the number of new new MMOs that are out right now were kind of spoiled in that way. I mean, if you're not spoiled, then that just means you really haven't played a lot of newer newer MMOs. Keep forgetting to turn that music on. But yeah, it just it means you haven't played a lot of newer MMOs up to this date. It means you probably only played Grand Fantasia just that's all you had time for. Maybe that's why I complain a lot when it comes to Grand Fantasia. Just because there's so many things that you see in other MMOs that you wish Grand Fantasia would, you know take from that as an example and start switching up a little bit. And listen, I don't hate Grand Fantasia at all. I actually love the game. But there are a lot of things that I do hate about it. And if I loved every single thing about it, then I would I even call myself a real fan of it if I didn't complain about a few things? I say if I loved every single thing about it, I would, I would be more of a blind fan than anything. Because I wouldn't be able to like see the flaws inside of the game too. So here's the whole thing that the game continues to grow and change. That's at least what I want to see. So if anything, I'm I'm hoping for improvement. Oh, that was a field boss or oh, quest boss. All right, we can go down there and do that. Since it's pretty close. Not damn stones. Wait. 
wait, where am I going? Oh, maybe because maybe it's sort of spring nest in the back of the base. Because <laughs> that's the only place with water, right? That I see? Huh? Nope, apparently not. Apparently there's another place with water. That's water? That is not water. Motherfucker, that is snow, and you can't tell me any different. I dare somebody to tell me that that is water. We might physically have to have 50 cups if you ever tell me that. And if you do also want to suffer less less than I am, because I, I like to challenge myself with solo, you're probably thinking, why don't I just ask somebody for help? I like soloing inside of this game. I like to challenge myself and figure out a way to like get around the whole team thing. That's what I did with my druid. <laughs> So figuring out what classes can solo and going through them has actually been fun for me. You gotta remember, everybody has their own different ways of like playing an MMO. Why didn't you pick up that chest? Pick it up now. Thank you. That's also another thing for like this dark sprite chess is that they have a chance of either just transforming you and not giving you an emblem or just healing you and not giving you an emblem instead of just summoning the boss out of it I need the gunsmith. That's what it is. So I'm going back this way. That's bandit jerky. Where where's the bandit snacks? I wanted to see them. Bandit snacks is meat, apparently. Okay, that. All right. Not even going to question that, but you know, apparently that's a snack. Okay, okay. We're almost leveled up. We just gotta go talk to Born. What's this? Hmm. That's decent. There's like agility and uh, vitality. Vitality. Why do I keep saying vitality? Should just say HP. 
Maybe that'll that'll fix it in my head. Marlin is a whole different thing to deal with. But level 71, dude. Yeah, dude. Freaking level 71. I don't even know if I want to use this now because I have bought it just to use it. And now... Uh, uh, do I want to build level 70 gears? <laughs> well, it's level 6. Mm. That's a real question, dude. It's not really all that good. Unless I wanted, like, just the extra two seconds of manga's reflex. Excuse me. Hiccup. I don't know. That's 20 class. Yeah, that's what I figured. Can it set the more quest? Oh, that uh, Grifidasia also suffers from like <laughs> heavy pathing. And when I say that, it's like most places don't have multiple entrances, so it makes you path all the way around. Which is, like, pretty annoying. Like, why isn't there just a door right here? Or, like, a little crack. That I could just go through. Now, that'd be, that'd be nice. So, where are these snow pillars? Oh, I need these yetis anyway. Like how they have a little smile on their belly. I just realized that. one. I need one more now. That's done. Apparently there's one up here. There it is. Where are the birds all the way over there? Okay. Is what I mean. Like I, w I want you to aggro on me. Hi, if you, if you could, thank you.
Yeah, that doesn't reach as much as I thought it would, dude. Their AI sucks, too. But their AI is good anytime I, you know, I don't want to be attacked. That's the only time that thing turns good is when I don't want to be attacked. I was gonna do it the other way, but I know then I was thinking to myself, why why not make it more entertaining just by going through all of them back and forth? If I didn't like <laughs> forget <sighs> if I didn't just, you know, would have just paid attention to the levels, I would have been here like a lot earlier. But you know what? Next video, we will get it done, okay? Don't worry about blinding me. See, I wish these were a mount instead of these. Because those look a lot cooler. Hey, one more level that can go buy some more skills. Alright, I need one more. Uh, there, oh, there's one. It's just spawned. We'll give you that. Then we have to go all the way down here. Actually, I don't know how far that character is, so I might as well do the wolves first. Watch them try and drop the... A freaking sprite instrument. I'd be pissed. See, look how much DPS and killing I'm doing. Well, death per second is what I should say. And my sprite can't keep up with all of that. Because he has to leave certain loot behind. 
if you're a very fast killer and you're trying to get every last bit of the loot, your sprite can't keep up at all. That's why I don't like farming. That's literally the only major reason I, I don't like farming in Grand Fantasia. Because if, if that wasn't the case, I would be farming a lot more a lot more often. You guys would be seeing like so much stuff inside of auction. You'll be seeing a lot more reputation inside of inside of a uh, auction too. If it wasn't for the sprite collection demotivating me. Those quests are done. Let's go turn them in. Not gonna lie to you. I say, uh, Oh, the girl duo right there. It's... Uh, I was about to say, not gonna lie to you, there's not. I say, uh, trading isn't going as fast as it usually does. But then again, it is a it is a weekday. Most of the time, I see like trading going fast is on the weekends. Now I think about it. So there's a boss right there. Oh yeah, the wolf boss. So now I go back to the Yeti area. Right after I turn in these quests, actually. Oh, and away on the way there, I can grab that too. Oh, on the way back, I can grab that. Uh, all this junk in here. Oh, this is... Oh, this is a uh, map quest. Do people still do map quests? Like... Like these little treasure hunt things? I'm curious. Because I don't. <laughs> or is it just too much effort now? I don't know. I feel like with the level system that Gravitation has right now, most things are just very tedious to go into. And most of them are just unnecessary. Who knows? Maybe they'll change that. Another boss. Uh... Damn. Okay, that's actually a troublesome one to pick between. Uh, what do I have less of? Uh, I have less of moon. I don't know if I will need that, but still, might as well grab it. I can't pick that up. Wait, is it close? Oh yeah, it's pretty close. Once I get done with these boss quests, I can just turn that in and come back.
Ah, oh, damn. Wrong enemy. Okay, you're still locked on the wrong... Okay. God damn it. Let's go here. I'm trying to figure out, is there anything in here that I want to get rid of? Most of it, no. Most of it, no. Where is he? He normally walks down here. I say like, he normally spawns really fast, too. I don't think he goes like all the way down there, right? Richard just stops right here and walks all the way back up. Unless somebody just recently killed him. I guess somebody did recently kill him. I'll just come back to it. Oh, there he is. I guess he does go a lot further than I actually thought. Oh, there it is. Yeah, what am I getting stuck on? Flowers? I've been playing a lot of games uh, this week. Just this whole month has <laughs> been nothing but um, Grand Blue Fantasy and po Power World. Well, and Grand Fantasia. Still working on my own game, getting that situated. After this, I plan on doing like some more concepts for. The combat before we even get started on that uh, my developers finishing up um, some of the monster girl data that he's been working on he's mostly been testing out like the new stuff that you know added so that's another reason why I haven't really posted any news on the game yet at the moment I say, you know, like updates very often to the point where it's just like, oh, okay, this, there's some new stuff. We could probably get into it and uh, learn some new things, maybe help make it easier. Sometimes I add in more complicated shit than, than there needs to be. <laughs> well, probably more complicated shit for there need to be for, you know. Developers who've never, like, discovered some things in there. But you also gotta remember that Godot is also... Also still brand new to a lot of developers. But some people have been working on it for years and they're adding new stuff to it that... You probably haven't even seen as a developer who plays... Well, works on that... That, uh, engine a lot. Versus like somebody who's played, well, made games on Unreal and made 
only games on Unreal. Oh, why'd I do that? I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's just another healing one. Um, we need snowbirds, right? And we need little piggies, which are down here. Not a lot of development. I was saying, like I said, uh, development is going to go like extremely fast. It normally takes time. I say it's not like I'm gonna have a finished product within like I don't know a week, <laughs> but we're getting there. Development is not easy unless you're making like a less complicated game. If you're making like a less complicated game, it could be easy. It could be done in like a week. It'll be unpolished, but it could be done in a week. I was saying my game will be. I guess a lot more complex. Because a lot of games you like look at most of the time don't seem very complex. Because you're just looking at it just like, okay. Let's look at for look at it from like a Grand Fantasia point of view. Okay, there's just a whole bunch of skills and everything. You just shooting pushing buttons it doesn't seem that complicated to you right at first you know like no traditional mmos you're just looking at it does it feel complicated you feel like you can make a game like that but once you start actually making a game like that it begins to get more complicated people look at pokemon and they're just like damn dude they finish a game when like once a year so it can't be that complicated right you gotta remember that they have they have a whole team on their side. Imagine if one or two people are making a game. I say like, that's not easy. Imagine if there's like a whole. Well, I would say put a put a um, Pokemon team up against two developers making the same game. Which one is going to get done faster? Is it definitely going to be the one with the whole team, whole company beside them? And also getting funded as well. That's also another thing. I don't know. I thought it was somebody important knocking on my door. No, it was just my little brother knocking on my door. I'll see when you're like, uh, what do they want now? But anyhow, as I was saying, game take time. I don't know none of the people who have been keeping up my game will ever keep up with these videos, which is completely fine. You know, most people will leave the channel before the game's even done, which is also fine too. It's just like, hey, it is what it is. It's one of those things to where I don't have to worry about. Because when it comes to like YouTube, I've been doing YouTube for like six, six to seven years now. As I am in, and most of my progress on this channel is me doing like variety. Obviously, you're not going to grow from variety that that's just plain and simple. So I was just thinking to myself, might as well go into game development. You know, it's, it's something I wanted to do. So in a way, in a way, now I'm just a game director. I plan on developing. Like after this, I just don't want to put on too much on myself and uh, too much money out there. Just working on like two things. So I want to get done with uh, Must Grow Utopia first. Then I started working on like my own game, which I want it to be a horror game or it could be, you know, a sequel. For Must Grow Utopia. It just really depends on where everything goes. 
Like right now, I'm still trying to get the concept of my uh, of what I want the town to look like. Those are things that I'm still going through. I say those concepts just don't just get done quickly, plain and simple. You have a quest to But Monster Girl Utopia has been uh very fun to work on now. I'm getting a lot of my creative side out. I say if you guys have ever looked taken a look at the community tab of my YouTube channel, you can see there's a lot of uh there's a lot of designs for the Monster Girls that we're putting effort into. As a... Oh, that's a request. But... Most of the Monster Girl... Well, pretty much all of the Monster Girl designs are... Things that I have... Had planned in my head. And I just got, like, a really good studio that's putting in all... All the light and just bringing it, you know to life because most of those are like concept in my head and most of them those designs that mono studio has done have just exceeded my thought process on those characters and with those characters getting done which we have like like I said, 13 more to do like a rework on. I would say, uh, even that and an artist that I use for concept, uh, Mai, she even did like a lot of, a lot of cool designs that are going to get remade too. Now she's based on my concept artist. I haven't talked to her in a while though, because, um, uh, I haven't had the money to hire her right now. So she's probably just waiting in the wind for me. But as of right now, concepts are... Newer Monster Girl concepts are just... In the back at the moment. I haven't really planned on doing any of those right now. Considering I'm focusing back on how I want combat to look. Cause I had a had a way that uh that I liked, but at the same time, as I started playing other games, they started to bring to light like inspiration for like different layouts. Cause I didn't have to do the whole complicated look. I could have done a simple look, made everything look simple. But then again, there's like these more complicated looks that look like they would actually help. Then there's like all this whole move system stuff like that. I come up with like new mechanics in my head and stuff like that. Which slows down the progress a lot. <laughs> Excuse me. I say like once you start getting creative, it's it just throws you back and forth, back and forth, sends you back to square one a lot. Mostly I haven't been talking to people about a lot of of what the game's been going through right now because a lot of ideas change a lot. So I ended up going back and So I ended up going back 
to square one of like a thought process and changing it. Like right now, I'm still trying to figure out if I want the game to be more of a, you know, open world looking type of type of game to where you run through grass and encounter monster girls or if I want it to be like a heavily 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 dungeon based or tower based to where you go through like different floors and capture monster girls and come back out to a village and um resupply heal upgrade your gear and go right back in stuff like that those are the things that I'm like fully thinking about also might have a might have to make a poll on that actually because that would actually be a lot easier because depending on which one is is how i can like set up everything a lot easier and that also depends on like how long i would be in development as well interesting right it's just a lot of ideas just come out of the woodworks like that. Because <laughs> once you have one set in stone path, you think of like other games you can make, other changes you can make to your game and stuff like that. Oh yeah, okay. I was saying, wait a minute, what what are the other monsters I need? I need sprites. These guys. Man, that would have been a cool looking sprite to have as a pet. Better than better looking than the sprites we get. Just make that like an ultimate sprite form. That's a lot better at collecting stuff. It just Instead of it just, you know, collecting stuff, it just sucks in in it with like a magic orb in your hands or something. And I don't have to keep running after crap. I don't know. If, if they're going to buckle down on the sprite system, they have to make sprites a lot better in some type of way. Because I feel like the sprite system is just... It's just meh. Like, I like the games, the playstyle of Grand Fantasia. It's just the sprites throws so many things off. For me. That's also another thing I think about in my game as well. It's just like, what will throw people off to where they will just be turned off from the game? I'll say, if I was to make a grinding phase, nobody would like that if, if it was like too heavily grind heavy to where they would have to, you know, have to go into like, let's say if I was to add a dungeon, you know, they, they don't want to go into a dungeon or costly fight a boss over and over and over and over again like too many times in order to get the thing that they want unless you know it's like dropping equipment if they're dropping equipment that's a that's a different story they can come up with a team that's very fast and kills things pretty quickly or if it's like or if it's like material dropping you know if they're ju just dropping material Players aren't going to find a satisfaction in that. If it's just dropping material, players are going to be like, okay, I don't feel like going through this over and over again. But if it's dropping equipment along with that material, players are going to be thinking to themselves, okay, I'm getting like new gear, new stats and stuff like that. And I'm also getting, uh, getting material for a different equipment that's inside of like 
a blacksmith or something that's crafting it. Those are potential things that I think about for my game. And Grand Fantasia's actually influenced that a little bit, to be honest, with their whole system. And me just thinking to myself, if I ever added a dungeon to my game, I never would want players to just to farm material and material only. I would want them to be able to farm material and some equipment that I know that those players would use. Not have a chance of using or being forced to replace was just a set. Like, I've also thought about, like, set equipment as well. Like, if I want to go through that approach. So, many people might think I'm just playing games just for the hell of it and having fun. Yeah, I am. I definitely am. But, I'm also always thinking about how what things I can add to improve my game as well. Every time I play something new, I'm also thinking about my game. Hell, I even talk about it with friends that I'm playing with. It's like, it's like, oh, this monster girl, oh, this pal looks cute, like cool. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, looking at it, it just influenced an idea in my head for a monster girl design. Like the, um, that little snow moth inside of Power World with the little uh, cool looking hat at a head as a head influenced a interesting design in my head for like a moth or for like a monster grove with that hat. So it always comes down to like designs, ideas, I always take screenshots or record these videos and look back at them. To see what things I can do for my game. I d I'm very research heavy. When it comes to like. This uh, game directing thing. And as a person with ADHD. Like sometimes I barely feel motivated to do a lot of things. Or you know have a short attention span. But I'm keeping up with this. Which actually amazes me a lot with how much things I just drop and go on to the next thing. Okay, so we still have three more quests. Uh, let's head to wherever this person is and turn in their quest. Oh, that's for the next area. I think, this, yeah, that's for a turn amount. Okay, we don't have to worry about that one. That That's for the next area. And I will say this, game development is fun. <laughs> when you're not the one developing it. <laughs> if you're directing it, that's a lot easier. Because you can actually just, you know, spill your thoughts and ideas. But I would say, have them all thought out. If you don't have them all thought out, it's, it's going to be like a mess. You're going to confuse the hell out of your developer. And when you start making changes in the middle of it, that can also heavily influence how much money you spend. <laughs> that's that's also a thing. Because <laughs> you basically just paid them to make one game. Then you just decide on something different. And now you just paid them to make two different games. Have everything thought out. Have all the sources resources together. So if you have like models and stuff already prepared. Have that ready for them. Like, there's different stages. Like, for me, since we are going through, like, the system setup right now, I'm not having them add in, like, UI as of right now because that's not where we're at. We're here to put the game together first before we start replacing stuff. And we're going through phases. So right now is the phase for setting up uh, the menu and stuff. Then the second phase is going to be for setting up combat. So I'm thinking about how I'm going to set up combat for the next phase. Then 
then sooner or later I'm gonna have to go more in depth into my NPCs. But right now I'm just focusing on Monster Girls completely. Like, I think I'm going to have, like, a huge placeholder for a lot of my NPCs. Either that or I might just make the main characters and just start placing them everywhere. Maybe that. Nah, that probably wouldn't work out. There's a dungeon here? Is that a dungeon? This is, you know, I can't see it because, you know, the awkward angle of this map. I don't think I would ever go into making an MMO or directing an MMO because that's also complicated as hell to go into. And plus, it's like very money heavy. Servers are money heavy as hell. It's not fun to deal with. Because <laughs> when you think of multiplayer, you got to think of stability. You got to think of like all the issues that could happen. That's also a thing. I say, I'm pretty sure most of you guys who keep up with Power World have already heard like how much their service costs. I think it was like 500k a month, which that's absurd to pay that much a month, especially if you don't know even know if your game's gonna pop off or not. As soon as their game popped off, they went for the 500k, and I'm just sitting here like, "All right, there's easier ways you could have you could have done that, but you know, hey." 500k a month? Fuck it. Good luck. <laughs> but now that they're partnered with like um, X Xbox Xbox themselves it's kind of like, okay, they they have less to worry about now that they're partnered with Xbox because Xbox is probably going to be paying some of that. It's always funny because Xbox always looks for the biggest money grab. Because as soon as they see something pop off, they're just like, yep, yep, come here, come here, give me, give me that. <laughs> I want you. <laughs> if nobody else has claimed it, the Xbox will go straight to it. I mean, that's cool and everything. I mean, they're not, Xbox isn't publishing them, I'm pretty sure. That'd be wild if they are. But most of the time, you don't want to publisher because publishers will take most publishers will take a huge chunk out of your wallet especially if you pop off they're going to take a huge chunk out of that I mean if you don't have the money and resources for you know for you know that situation and if they are going to dip their hands in to help you remote that's also a downside as well. Most of the time, you gotta look for like a really good revenue split if you really care that much. Okay, you're not in that. Oh yeah, wrong quest. Because that revenue split is crucial for a lot of developers, especially if they want to make another game after that. Oh yeah, we only got three more bars and I'm pretty sure we're going to make that. We got it, right? But here's the thing. A lot of players want to feel strong. They want to feel OP. In a way, in a game that's doing that well right now from what I am playing of it is Grand Blue Fantasy. It makes you feel strong. It makes you feel OP. It makes you want more. But when late game comes in, 
is where it tests all your skills. That's something that interests me quite a lot because now that has my brain thinking, huh, how can I set my game up that way to where progression is a is slow and steady? You're having fun, you feel strong. Then late game just punishes you and tells you, hey, this is where your happiness starts. Well, this is where your happiness ends. But at the same time, I still want people to, you know, to have a challenge. Okay, yeah, we gotta go defeat him up there. That's what that is. I'll say, it. Uh, this is stupid. Also, I just wanted it to be known, if people click this and nothing popped up, they would be confused of where the fuck this boss is. But lo and behold, please use the monster. Go down here. Find his name. That right there. Autopath. Autopath to him. Just stop. Autopath. There you go. If you're not autopathing, you're probably in a, in a weird spot to where the game can't autopath. Because if you're like too close to a box or something, it won't autopath to it. Go out into the open. Click autopath. There you go. That is the only way to see where that enemy is. Like, I I don't like how this right here blocks so much of this. When there's so much room down here. There's always so much room down here. Oh, never mind. Not, not on every map there's so much room. But there's a lot of room on mostly every map down there. Like, it's just weird how that's set up. I really don't think this works on bosses. Because I've never seen it work on bosses. <laughs> but yeah, I have a lot of fun ideas for my game. Hopefully it's not doesn't end up being like entangled since like i said this is my first game that i well probably didn't say it but this is technically my first game like directing get away from me so i'm interested to see how it all just you know plays out i'm along for my own ride Oh, that's not going to be enough points. Darn. Okay, we went up by one level this video. Mostly because we're in that area that's behind a level anyway. <laughs> so we're getting less, less XP from green books. Sag, man. Sag. I'll say that ex that level gap actually starts kicking in pretty fast. Like as soon as you start getting to the 70s, 6 60s start to die. Well, quests start to die off like a lot faster. That's at least what it seems. Hit chance. What was the quest I just saw? Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, that's terrible. Oh, that's funny. I'm almost the next level. I think it's here, right? Yeah, Eternal Mountain. Okay, so we're done with that quest. Those are done. So now we gotta head to Eternal Mountain, and I'm pretty sure that gives us the level up. 
Oh, I heard somebody's mount. Ah, there's... There's somebody. Most of the players you see around here, or any dungeon who has, like, a lot of HP, a lot of stuff, are mostly players who've already played the game. Already has probably, like, a max character who are probably Wells. Like, if they have a shit ton of HP for a character you believe should have low, or if they have a reincarnation symbol, those are probably players who have already played through the game before. <laughs> Especially if they have reincarnation. They just reincarnated, went back to level 1, and grinded all the way back up. Like I said, try and stick it out until level 100 if you want the most beneficial, well, the most benefits out of your character to level 100. Tell me, I'm telling you, it's a lot worth, it's a lot more worth it. Because even armor stats, like, go up too, to make it a lot easier. So if you're suffering with, like, enemies that are at your current level, try and level up. Why is there a level 20, 27 here? Oh, is he getting uh, party leveled? He's probably getting P-leveled. Oh no, if he was getting P leveled, he definitely would have been level 28 by now. They do get dropped off here or something? Huh. That's. Makes me question a lot of things. Oh, wait, no, he probably did that quest and got teleported here and is confused on how to get back out. For those of you guys who are new, if there's a quest that if you use uh, teleport stones, it will send you. There we go to Eternal Mountain. Uh, it should send you in this area, but if it doesn't, and you already have another quest, uh, select that quest, turn this on, and teleport to one of your lower quests. Either that or manually open up your map well open up your map right click it then go to a city just teleport anywhere within there and there you go now that's, that's another way of getting out but if it does spawn you over here to this area just go to the teleporter right here and just teleport out hopefully it wasn't that mission that was that put a mirror that would suck <laughs> But it does happen. It it does happen. And people who are new get confused so easily that it's uh that it's a huge thing. I don't know why that quest sends you here. It's it's funny. First off, because you're a new player and you're confused and you're wondering like what the hell's going on. Or that's a quest that just sitting there that you never think about at all. And you're wondering, how do I get there? Why is that place so far away? Why does it cost so much gold to get there? A lot of confusion for that quest. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. And to then, see you tomorrow, I guess. Peace out.